Welcome to CFW Fit Streaming for NPR. Uh, I am Elvan Demirkan. Well, there's no shortage of stress out there and we harden ourselves all the time, even during our sleep. So today, uh, this class will be about um, releasing, softening and relaxing on purpose. And as always, we'll be moving effortlessly. So if if you've been taking this class for a while now, you know that I'm a fan of supports when it comes to relaxing my body uh, on it. So in certain uh, areas uh, of the class or the parts of the class, we can use a regular bed pillow. It's optional, but I think your body will thank you for that if you do. So we begin with tuning into our breath. So come to a comfortable seat. <clears throat> Relax your shoulders and take a few deep breaths here, noticing the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. I'm beginning to relax the habitual places of tension, your shoulders soft, hands soft, and your belly soft. And enjoy the next inhale, let it fill you. Exhale, stay with the breath. A couple of more, just like this. Inhale, feel the lengthening and widening in your torso. And as you exhale, softening and relaxing your spine, your shoulders. One more. Calm, deep inhale. Long, slow exhale. All right. So if your eyes close, you can gently open them. And we're going to start today lying down on our backs and then slowly build the class up into again an effortless flow. So let's, I'll meet you on my mat. <laughs> Lie down on your back. Let me just adjust this mat, yes. Keeping your feet on the ground and your arms by your side. So let's make sure before we even begin to move that you feel your body feels at ease and all the tightness and hardening in your body. With a couple of long exhales, you can just um, unwind and unfurl or begin to unwind and unfurl the tension or even I can say begin to be become familiar that where you hold your tension and then work with it gently throughout the class to dissolve the tension, especially in the areas that we habitually hold and grip. So just relax your toes, spread your toes on the ground, release the backs of the shoulders on the floor, your palms at ease, your jaw at ease. couple of nice long exhales here just to feel grounded and letting the um, the ground the support hold you so you don't have to do that for yourself And now gently bring your right knee to your chest and interlock your fingers around the knee or behind the knee and let your lower back really relax, spread and relax on the ground. We can stay here or you can extend through the left heel. Again, stay here or maybe lift your head. Breathe. This is optional. I'm just going to choose to keep my head on the ground today because we really will work on unwinding and unfurling on myself today. And then let's repeat the same thing other side. So right foot can be on the ground and 
to feel this nice release on the lower back or maybe extending your leg, stretching through the heel. Again, third option, lift your head, but engage your core so you're not straining your neck if you're doing that. And relax. Feet on the ground and bring both arms alongside your ears, arching your back a little, relaxing your chin and your jaw so you're not pressing the chin to your chest and just really release the backs of the shoulders on the ground. And then bring your arms by your sides and rest here. Inhale, sweeping the arms all the way behind you. And now extend through the right heel. Exhale, knee in, arms by your side. Again, feel your lower back again spread on the ground. Inhale, left foot grounded, lengthened. Exhale, soften. Two more, just like this, taking it really slow and getting a really good stretch. Big exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And lower your right foot on the floor. Let's repeat on the left side four times with the left leg. Inhale, lengthening through inner outer arms, lengthening your spine. Exhale, knee in, arms by your side. So also your right thigh is at ease. Again, spread your toes on the ground so there's no effort on your right leg. Inhale, lengthen. Stretching through your toes, roots of your toes, or your heel, your choice. Exhale, soften. Two more. Inhale. One more stretch. Exhale. As you gather your belly, one more. And big exhale. arms by your side. So hug your knees and massage your back, rolling your back side to side. We're even making some circles here. Your jaw at ease and reverse the circle. So before we get up, let's extend the legs again and your arms alongside your ears, stretching through the heels. And relax your toes now and hold your left wrist. And let's do the banana stretch. So you're just walking your heels maybe a couple of inches to your right. And your torso to your right. And cross your left ankle over the right ankle. Relax your left palm. Relax your elbows so your arms are not tight. Relax the elbows and you're just receiving a good stretch on the left side. Your head can be in the center or maybe you can gently roll it to your left. Breathe. Notice if the elbows are positioning themselves to hold it like in case, oh, what if I hurt myself here? No, just let go of the elbows. Let go of the backs of the shoulders and your thighs where we Hold a lot of tension. And now gently back to center. And let's do the same thing other side. So crossing your right, well, no, sorry. Walk your heels to your left a few inches. Cross the right ankle over the left one. So holding the right wrist with the left hand and again stretching to your left and maybe rolling the head to your right. Relax the elbows, so the arms, even though you're receiving a great stretch, they are at ease. 
your palms at ease, your thighs soft, belly soft. Back to center. Hug your knees. Again, massage your back. Does not feel good. And just spread the arms and lower both knees and feet to your right and relax the backs of the shoulders. And since I have the pillow right close to me, I'm going to show you one thing. I think I shared this before. Having a pillow in between the knees just, just really feels good. Again, all optional. Inhale, knees to your chest. And let's do the same thing. Oops, other side. Exhale. Breathe. Easy. And back to center. Hug your knees. And we're gonna just, if you have it, remove the pillow, go along to your side, and come up to a seated position. All right. Let's cross our legs, lengthen the spine, relax your arm, maybe arms by your side, and just turn your head to your um, right. Shoulders at ease, your spine tall but effortless. And through the center, let's do the same thing on the side. Breathe easy. Inhale, center. Exhale, now soften your chin to your chest and relax the skin on the back body downward. And center your head. So your fingertips on the floor, your right hand slightly away from the hip and to your right. I'm gonna be mirroring it now to your left, relaxing your left shoulder. Let's do one more, same thing. So adding more side stretch to your right, relax the right shoulder. You can gather your belly and your next exhale. Inhale out. And place the fingertips behind the hips, roll the shoulders back, just rising your collarbones, spreading, expanding your rib cage, and relax. A few shoulder rolls here. Inhale, exhale. Reverse. Inhale, exhale. One more, and exhale, and just shake your arms, all right. So we're gonna come into a squat, but if you're not comfortable with that, uh, with your knees, you just continue to sit in a cross-legged position just for this. Heels closer, your toes are out, and your fingertips, your left hand on the floor, or you can use a block or any height under your hand, and just raise your right arm up. Oh, good. Breathe. And gently release. Again, if this doesn't work for you, just come into a cross-legged position and raise the left arm. Breathe. And relax now. Hands, knees on the ground. 
and separate your knees a bit wider than your toes and lower your hips on your heels. Child's pose, extended child's pose, so your arms are nicely stretching. And place only the fingertips on the floor like spider hands and engaging your mid back here where your shoulder blades are. And walk your hands to your right, maybe same hand position where you can relax your palms on the floor. Again, adding different side stretches into the flow. And same thing to your left, your neck is at ease. Back to center, come on all fours, come up on all fours, knees, feet, hip bit apart. And this time, extend your left arm between the right hand and your knee, side of the head on the floor, resting. And we can just stay here or raise your right arm up towards the ceiling, relaxing your neck. Breathe, easy. Next, inhale, gently place the palm on the ground and come on all fours. And let's repeat the same thing other side, extending the right arm between the left hand and the knee, right side of the head on the floor, either relax here, resting both shoulders, or you can raise your left arm up towards the ceiling. Breathe, easy. Back on all fours, inhale, exhale, child's pose. So next inhale, slowly come up, just on your knees, little bit of a back bend here. And exhale, palms on the ground into child's pose. Spread your fingers. Now round your back, keeping your head in between the arms, all fours. And now lift your tailbone and your head and slowly lower the hips back on your heels. Round and up. Lift your tailbone, arms straight, and gently open the chest forward and lower the hips back on your heels. So we're gonna do the opposite now. As you inhale, your spine softens towards the floor, chest opens up forward. As you exhale, press everything on the ground, round, and lower the hips back on the heels. Inhale, again sweeping forward, lengthening the front of the spine, chest opens forward. Exhale, gather your belly all the way to your back, relax your head in between the arms into child's pose. <clears throat> and rest here. And now let's come on all fours again. <coughs> Excuse me. Separate your fingers, curl your toes under, downward dog, gather your belly. Relax your head in between your arms. Breathe. Inhale, plank or your knees on the ground. Exhale, elbows squeezing towards the ribs, lower your body, sweep forward a little bit, cobra. High or low, and curl your toes under, under, gather your belly into downward dog and relax your head. So each downward dog can be replaced with child's pose if you prefer that or if your body needs that. Inhale, plank or all fours, lowering your knees on the ground. Exhale, squeeze the elbows towards the ribs, lower. Inhale, cobra. 
exhale, press back into downward dog. Left knee on the floor, right heel on the floor, bringing your left foot slightly oops, out. Raise your right arm up. Breathe. And maybe we can bring the arm alongside the ear again, your choice, and raise your leg. Make sure that your left arm is straight. So you're not bending the elbow, gathering your belly, core back is safe by lengthening through the left leg, keeping your left, I'm sorry, right leg tall. And again, gather your belly more on all fours and relax here for a second. So let's extend the left leg, bringing your right foot out, lower the left heel on the ground, raise your left arm up, you're extending and expanding your torso. Stay here or bring your arm alongside the ear and you can even raise your leg if you prefer that. Breathe, easy. And gather your belly back on all fours. So come up, uh, well, place your fingertips on the floor and you're always um, taking just a moment of a break here, just to show. In every single class, I don't have to use them, but you can have your blocks ready to blocks to use them anytime we're doing lunges. So we can just place the fingertips on the ground and bring the left foot forward with the help of the left hand maybe. And again, your hands on the ground, but the, if, this not, uh, if this is not feeling good for your lower back, your hips, your knee, or you're really rounding your back like this, it's not worth it. You need to use something under your hands to feel the length and also to enjoy the pose. So no yoga pose is created, I, in my opinion, for suffering. And um, so just stay at the place that you feel comfortable. Anyway, so let's stay here with the blocks or your fingertips on the ground. And I'm gonna use them now just to bring the habit in. <laughs> and raise your left arm up, optional. You can stay in, um, uh, Lunge if you like. And release. So bring your left knee back and we can add a downward dog here without the blocks. Gather your belly, relax your head in between your arms. And now left knee on the floor, either on the fingertips, bring your right foot in between the halves uh, 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 hands or help of the blocks bring your right foot forward and raise your right arm up I started using more and more these blocks because I like the length and the space it gives me I keep repeating that but it just makes a big difference after the class that instead of feeling a little bit sore on the hips let's say could be maybe I teach too many classes, so it can be regarding to that. But at the same time, I don't feel that if I'm using the block. So let's back on all fours. And again, removing the blocks. Downward dog. But again, they're optional. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale, gather your belly, lift your hips, downward dog. It's all lengthening, feeling spacious. And in the meantime, releasing the hardening in the body, relaxing your neck. One more. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
Exhale, flatter your belly. Downward dog as you raise your tailbone high. Relaxing your neck. So we're going to walk the feet towards the hands and come up on your fingertips eventually to help with that. And into a standing forward bend and very slow, roll your back up, inhale. Your head is the last part to come up. Roll your shoulders back and exhale. So let me get these out of the way for a moment and let's come to the top of the front of the mat. And let's do a nice standing forward bend here. Your feet hip bit apart, your legs engaged and raise your arms up and right below your shoulder blades, a slight back bend. Yes, feel the length on the front of the spine. Breathe. You can also interlock the fingers behind the head. See if that helps more. And bend your knees into a forward bend. Now place your hands on your knees or shins. Send your seat back and lift and extend your spine. Lift your head. I'm sorry. Inhale. Exhale. Grounding. Relaxing your neck. Roll your back up, inhale, your shoulders back and relax as you exhale, spread your toes, one more, same thing, inhale, arms up, a gentle back bend right below the shoulder blades, engaging your thighs, so firming your thighs. Exhale, gather your belly, send your seat back, standing forward bend. Inhale, lift your head, lengthen your spine, sliding your hands up towards the knees. Exhale, standing forward bend and relax your shoulders. Again, let's unfurl. Shoulders back and down. I'm going to add a couple more forward bends here. So just separate your feet as wide as you feel comfortable. <clears throat> Outer edges of the feet stay parallel. And again, raise your arms up, palms up, lifting internally, lifting the side body. And as you exhale, hinge forward from the hips into the forward bend, hands on the ground, or maybe on a block again, optional. And that can help you to separate your feet more, feet more, yeah. Lengthen your spine and slide your hips to your left, bending the left knee gently, shoulders at ease. And same thing to your right. Again, if you don't have a block or if you don't want to use it, Keep your fingertips on the ground. One more to your left. Shoulders at ease. And to your right. Shoulders at ease. Now back to center. And let's deepen the fold here. Relaxing your neck and shoulders. Breathe. Easy. And bend both knees. If you feel your feet are way too wide apart, you may bring them a bit closer. And pressing through four corners of both feet. Again, gather your belly. Roll your back up. Inhale. Your shoulders back. And now exhale. And let your whole body be saturated with your breath. One more nice deep breath in 
and out as you release the weight from the neck and shoulders down on the ground. Walk your feet up and shake it out. So the whole class, not one consultation today. All right, separate your feet a bit wider. Turning your right foot 90 degree, your left foot about 45 degrees. So I'm hoping you're feeling taller, more open, and less restricted around the rib cage with everything we've been doing so far. And add a little bit of flow into it, but making sure we don't have or bring back the tension around the neck. But we'll do more releasing in a few minutes when we're lying down on our back for deep relaxation. So bend your right knee right over the um, ankle. Arms out, palms up, inhale, lengthen, spread your toes, palms down, exhale, continue, inhale, way up, and exhale, good, now left arm along, no, yeah, left arm alongside the body, right arm is up, mirroring, and then we can turn this into an extended side angle. Slowly. Breathe. And now circle the arm down and push down to rise. Inhale. Shoulders at ease. And exhale. Same thing, other side. Left foot 90 degree, your right foot 45. Your legs are strong. Shoulders at ease, spread the arms out, feeling strong, lifting through the side body, bend the left knee, spread your toes again, palms up, inhale, arms up. Could be a V, v or all the way up, exhale. One more, palms up, inhale, palms down, arms back to shoulder height, exhale. So right arm by your side, left arm up, maybe leaning a bit to your right. And then keeping the length on the, length on the left side into extended side angle. Pressing your right thigh back, and creating more length here. Circle the arm down, push down to come up, inhale. Your shoulders back and exhale. Toes in, heels in, toes in, and just relax your legs. All right. So we're gonna lie down on our belly. I mentioned of using the pillow and I didn't do it so far. So I may use it in a different class, a total relaxation class. But maybe we can use it now, actually. Again, your choice. You may just lie down on your belly, and that's it. Or we can use this like a surfboard right in the center. And your hips will be resting on it. If you're using it, just your regular pillow. It just creates a great support for the body to rest into. And just making a little pillow with your arms under your forehead. Center your thighs and release your thigh bones on the floor. So if you don't have this extra support, that's okay, uh, perfectly fine. We all do this always. And you can just rest on the floor without the um, pillow. And this helps to promote a deeper and calmer breathing in the body. And just stay here and kind of integrate what we've done so far. The lengthening, the opening and feeling again more spacious. So we can if you prefer, you can just stay here and enjoy it. I'll give you one more option. Place your forearms on the ground and come into a sphinx pose.
I keep meaning to add more stuff, but then my body's calling me to do something more simple. <laughs> so just lengthen. Today, that's the class we have. But it feels so good. So just extend your arms. Again, creating more length and maybe squeezing your hips a little. Raise your feet off the ground. And I can add one more thing here. Maybe using a block under your hands also feels good. Creating block helps to create more length and less discomfort on the shoulders in case you might have it. And as you can see, the length in the body, no rounding on the back. And relax again. Your forearms turn to a pillow. Center your thighs and release your thigh bones on the ground. And then place the palms on the ground. Slowly come up. And that was <laughs> the conclusion of our back bends today. And child's pose. But we did a few of cobras in the flows. Just relax your shoulders. Another thing we can always add, bringing the pillow in between the heels and the hips. More supportive for the knees and the lower back when we do that. And relax your neck. And when you're ready, slowly come up. Hips to one side. Of course, if you don't have the pillow or you don't want to use it, you're just sitting on your heels. Hips to one side and bring your legs in front of you. Just centering. Both legs are straight. Actually, instead of straight, bend the knees to the left. Bringing your heels closer to your left hip and twist open to your right. Gather the belly, lengthen through the crown of your head. Shoulders at ease, your feet relaxed on the ground. Breathe. So this gives you, this kind of twist gives you more length and there's no rounding. We make sure that there's no rounding on the lower back. And we can open the chest more. Just calm, deep inhale, long, slow. Exhale. And now back to center. Let's do the same thing other side. Feet to your right. And twist open to your left. Breathe. Easy. Your left hand is just helping to lengthen the spine, keeping the fingertips on the floor, but make sure that you're not tensing your hand here. Inhale, center. And as you exhale, again, extend your legs in front of you. So maybe separate your feet a bit wider here and pull the flesh off your buttocks back. Lengthen the spine so your forward bend, especially if you have certain um, discomfort on your lower back, can be just placing your fingertips on the floor and lengthening, and that's it. And stretching through the heels. Those of you who feel comfortable, maybe place the hands on your legs, maybe in the center, and just relax your neck. Again, we're not rounding, we're not collapsing like this. Just creating length and then place your hands wherever you feel comfortable, hinging forward from the hips, softening your shoulders and your neck. Or maybe you may prefer bringing soles of feet together and doing your forward bend this way, also opening up the hips here. Inhale, slowly come up until you chose. 
exhale. So I'm gonna move forward, feet on the floor, hold behind the knees, work your core as you slowly lower your body. And land on the ground. Just resting here for a moment. Maybe readjusting the shoulders. So again, we stop the holding, relaxing your shoulders. And separate your feet about your mat width apart. Interlock your fingers behind your head, or you can just rest the hands on your pelvis, maybe or on the ground. Lower your knees to your right, so your knees and feet separated here. Or if you prefer, skip this and just do a regular lying down twist. Inhale, knees up. Same thing, other side. Exhale, relaxing your elbows. Inhale, knees up to your chest. Again, spread the skin on the lower back on the floor. Raise your legs one more time. Knees, feet close together. And slowly lower your body to the ground. Or on your block and land. If you prefer, you can take the pillow and place it under your thighs for that extra support and you'll be feeling like landing on clouds. It feels so soft and supportive. So as you stay there for a few minutes, I'm gonna get a little closer to the microphone. And this kind of support can help you to recognize where you hold your tension unnecessarily and to those areas that feel tight. And by breathing into the area, you can unwind and unfurl and begin to release a pattern or even just to get to be you know, more familiar with that pattern of holding and gripping and work on it gently, exhaling again and again and just allowing the ground to hold you to feel more at ease, more relaxed, more open. more safe and therefore less reactive. And take your time and you can stay there as long as you like. And when you're ready, extend your arms alongside your ears, giving your body another good stretch. Relax your arms and hug your knees. You can even place your feet on the pillow because I think your feet can land on the pillow right there. Just feel the softness under your feet, soles of your feet. And then hug your knees, massage your back, rolling it side to side. And come up to a seated position. Take another nice deep breath in and out. 
grounded, relaxed, and present. Thank you so much for joining our class and I hope it helps you or helped you to ease into your day or the rest of your day. And I'll see you right back here next week. Take care. Have a beautiful day or week. <laughs>